So this is going to be my take on the fox eyebrow look. And uh, this has gone viral lately and I think it started with a TikTok and the picture that this look is based on is an Instagram photo of Kendall Jenner where she has very straight eyebrows. So I'm gonna do my take on this look. So all I have on right now is primer and under eye concealer and I'm gonna start with my eyebrow. So I have microbladed eyebrows so mine are already pretty straight but I need to elongate them a little bit. So the most important thing is that your eyebrow doesn't have an arch. And so I already have pretty straight eyebrows because they're microbladed. For now I'm just extending this part here and making sure that it's pretty straight. And I'm also trying to make this line underneath to be straight. here that you really want this line underneath to be as straight as possible and just kind of go straight out so you don't want any arch at all so that's what you should try to aim for okay now I'm gonna apply foundation and I'm using the Smashbox 24 hours foundation and the shade is 1.1 but it's a little bit too dark so I'm mixing it with a little bit of the olive uh, foundation mixer from NYX. And put it all over your lid, especially on your mobile lid, because we want that part to be visible later on. So you could use your favorite concealer for this step or if you're using any eyeshadow primer that is um, your skin tone or close to your skin tone. Okay, so on to the next step. This is gonna be the base for our sort of like elongated shape. I'm connecting it to what's going to be my crease later on. So I'm sort of like pulling it up towards the temple. And this is the beginning of creating that sort of like lifted, elongated shape that we're going after. And this all depends on your natural eye shape, but I kind of have a little bit hooded lips. So I really need to sort of like get, get rid of this part here that is very heavy. and this is a very important step for this look and particularly if you like me have really straight eyelashes that kind of point downwards so this is my regular um, eyelash curler but I also purchased this one when I was in Japan so this is a tiny one and it's a little bit tricky to use you have to kind of get used to it but I'm not using this to curl my lashes but because I can get really really close to the eye it sort of like lifts them up so I already curl the curl with the regular eyelash curler and now I kind of want them to point up like that 
and I really can't get this done with uh, a regular eyelash curler. So if you have very straight lashes, I can really recommend you get one of these smaller ones. So I don't know if you can see, but now my lashes really like go up like this. It's really this part of the brow that is the most important thing to work on for this look. Make sure that this part is straight. You can even go underneath and make little like strokes like this so it looks more like a natural brow. And it just looks like these are hairs that are growing like outside of your line. You can do this with any product. Uh, if you have a thick brow or if you have one of those like ink felt line pens, like anything that you can use for really, really like thin strokes. Okay, so now let's move on to eyeshadow. We're basically gonna do a crease, but the most important thing now for this fox eye look is, so this is straight. We want the mobile lid to be visible. And we really want the crease to, we want this area between the eyebrow and the eyelid to look as narrow as possible. Like the whole fox eye thing is just trying to make the eye look very like narrow and long. So I'm gonna kind of put the eyeshadow here. So normally when you do your crease, you'll go up a little bit, but I'm not gonna put anything here and I'm just going to make, kind of make a triangle shape here. I'm gonna start with this one. This is actually an eyebrow pen and I got the wrong shade. So uh, I'm using this one for contouring when I need to contour something smaller like my nose or my cupid's bow. So I'm actually gonna use this one. Uh, and it will also be easier for me to show you what I'm trying to do. So, I'm doing like a triangle shape, like this. So you want this to be straight and go, uh, kind of match this line, parallel to the eyebrow. As you can see, this uh, eyebrow pencil that I'm using is <laughs> perfect for contouring. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. I feel like this gives a much more natural look than a matte eyeshadow. Same thing on the other side. So yeah, it looks, uh, you don't see much of it when you blend it out, it blends really well. So you kind of can see what I'm going for here. So now I'm gonna put an eyeshadow on top. So I'm really just only focusing on the same area, which I just mapped out with uh, the eyebrow pencil. And you can kind of see what I'm going for. I want this to be, straight and I want this is what I'm trying to get rid of and normally this line on my eyes it would kind of go here but I'm trying to move it upwards because we're trying to get this lifted look so I'm placing everything much higher than if I just did my makeup normally brush is great, it's from Real Techniques, uh, so you can kind of pick up uh, shadow, but you can also uh, blend with this one. So this brush is perfect for this. I don't know if you would get the same precision with just a regular uh, like blending brush. So this is kind of the placement that I want. And once you kind of get this shape down, this kind of like inverted triangle, you can blend it out with a, a larger crease brush. Mm -hmm. 
so I'm not putting any product in here or even in the crease. I'm just only working on this part, this outer part. Okay, so the next step is the eyeliner. Normally, my eyes are really wide, so normally I would place it here, but I'm gonna place it much higher here. So um, this is gonna cross all the little, uh, where my skin is kind of folding. Uh, and if you have hooded eyes, you know the struggle. So when I place it, I'm just gonna ignore this fold and I'm gonna paint like straight over it. So you have to look straight ahead. And you also want, you want, as you can see, my eyes goes like this and I want to like kind of neutralize this round shape that I have and I want to be straight, just like the eyebrow and this line. So I'm gonna kind of start there and just go straight. And of course it looks crazy right now, it's gonna look like this. But just kind of map it out first. So this when my eyes open it looks like yeah, a line, but of course when you do this, you're, it's gonna be visible. So now when you've mapped it out, you can fill it in. I'm also gonna do a little flick following my lower lash line and still same here you see my out eye is very my eye is very wide and round uh, so I want it to look smaller like that now I'm also going to do this part This really helps with this kind of like fox. Yeah, I'm going to take a, a gel liner and apply it to my waterline. And it's very important if you have a large or wide or round eyes like me, don't go underneath, like don't smoke out your lower lash line or anything like that. Really try to keep it as narrow as possible. I don't let them meet because that would just kind of emphasize my round eye shape so I'm just kind of doing this and that and that will again make my eye look more narrow okay so the hard part is over now and now we're just gonna work a little bit on the details now this step is also important for this look you can take any highlighter and take something that is as blinding as possible and you want it to be like pretty light and you want to apply it where I'm applying it so inner corner inner uh, here the tear, tear duct or whatever it's called kind of like that one third or like half of the eye here but this is going to accentuate that liner that we put here so that it looks more elongated and it helps with like this narrow shape. And also a little bit on the middle, on the very middle of your lid and just close to your lash line. So I'm gonna do the same thing on my other side and I'll be right back. came out way better than that side. So you can see when my eyes is closed, 
it looks like that, but that's how you have to do eyeliner if you have uh, hooded lids. And like I said, I'm placing everything higher up than I would do if I just followed my own eye shape. So this lower, this flick that I did here, the lower one that is supposed to be an extension of my lower lash line, it really is placed where my normal eyeliner would be placed. So you can just see like how much higher I'm placing everything. And again, it's really important that you keep this area like completely blank. You don't want to put any eyeshadow or anything down here. You just really want this to be light and flat. When I do this, this is very very popular to do in Asia. Obviously, I don't have Asian eyes, but <laughs> this uh, highlighter that I'm putting here, it kind of accentuates this as well, because it just kind of makes it look like you're squinting a little bit, and we're really going after that sort of like narrow look. But this is, it's important that you do this step, because this kind of, it's almost like contouring for your eyes. using a shadow that is just a little bit lighter than my transition shade just to sort of like uh, almost like a transition between the transition shade and my skin tone so this is just kind of like tying everything together and you can ex extend this like all the way out to your temple because we're gonna kind of connect it with our contouring when I put down powder bronzer on top of this. So do pull it out like this. So basically it's the lower contour line of your eyebrow with this crease and then the eyeliner. We want all those to like go kind of parallel with each other. Okay, now I'm going to apply mascara. of deliberately clumping my lashes together to kind of get this false eyelash look. If you're good with lashes or if you like wearing uh, false eyelashes, uh, you can really accentuate this look by just not using the whole lash but just like the outer part and just kind of apply it at the end. But uh, I never use lashes, <laughs> I don't even have any, so I'm just relying on mascara here. And as you can see, I'm really focusing on the outer corner. Again, I'm using this eyebrow pencil. I brought the wrong shade. I can't use this one on my eyebrows, but I don't want to just throw it away. So I just kind of noticed that this is a perfect contour shade.
of Hula Lights. I'm not even, I know it's for fair skin people and I'm not exactly fair, I'm more like a light, light medium. Uh, and in the pan, this one just looks like a face powder. It looks like it wouldn't even show up, but it does. It's so subtle, I love it. It looks so natural. And now I'll use this to kind of tie it together with our crease. You can see that I'm kind of applying a lot here and this helps with this elongated shape. Don't, don't go down here, make sure to leave this so it will just look like your uh, cheekbones are kind of higher up. Last thing, uh, this is optional, but I feel like this in my case helps with this look. that kind of like accentuates because it looks like you're almost squinting so I feel in my case it helps to kind of like accentuate that narrow shape that we have so now all I have left is lips so I'm just applying a lip balm and as you can see when I applied my foundation I made sure to uh, apply it on my lips so I'm just gonna remove it now with a q-tip so this accentuates my lip line without actually using any product the reason I'm doing this is because I don't really like to wear uh, anything on my lips like lipstick or lip gloss I just I don't know it looks super makeup on me and my lip lines just really vague but I already kind of have pigmented and full lips, so don't need to make them look bigger, but just my lip shape is weird. So I just started doing this instead. Done.